Abigail Rosales Ampong, representing the Seaweeds Capital in Central Visayas, the Municipality of Bien Unido, Bohol. The Municipality of Bien Unido came from the Spanish word meaning well united. Bien Unido is located in the northern part of Bohol. Our town boasts of a few powdery white beaches, unpolluted crystal clear waters, and accessibility to its part of the world-renowned Danahon Double Barrier Reef, vast rice fields, and rolling hills. It is relatively unexplored but definitely a worthy tourist destination for trekkers, beach and sun worshippers, and divers. The people are mostly into fishing, rice farming, and seaweeds farming. Seaweeds farming is an industry which is becoming the main livelihood of the people. That's why it was called the seaweeds capital in central Visayas. Imagine a food without fertilizers or pesticides or without land. That food is seaweed. Seaweed is disarmingly easy to cultivate. Brown seaweed fixes nitrogen. So harvesting it can clear areas of water polluted by nitrogen fertilizers from urban or agricultural runoff. This eases pressure on local fish stocks and can reduce overfishing by reducing the economic necessity of fishing to survive. In the year 2010, Bien Unido launched a new dive site, the first in the Philippines, Double Barrier Reef Dive Site Underwater Grotto Shrine. Located in some part of Bilanglangan Island is the Nanahun Reef, the only double barrier reef in the Philippines. The LGU of Bien Unido thought of installing giant statues of the Blessed Virgin Mary and Santo Nino. The launching of the grottos will deter the illegal fishing, such as the uses of dynamite and cyanide for a massive day's catch. I am a licensed professional teacher, and I used to work in a private school. As a teacher, I am advocating the education, not just for the youth, but for everyone. The evidences, causes, effects, and hopefully the solutions of climate change. We humans are one of the main causes of the environmental issues we are experiencing now. Then let us be the one to solve this. Through our little efforts just by helping in controlling pollution and global consciousness, we will be able to contribute big impact in helping to maintain the beauty of the earth. One of the best ways in doing so is applying the 5 R. Rethink. Let's start to rethink our lifestyle if it's beneficial not just to our health but also to the environment. Reduce. Let's reduce the use of energy buying products with minimal packaging that will help reduce waste. Let's drive less, drive smart. Less driving means fewer emissions. Reuse. Let's promote in bringing back the usage of biome or eco bags in buying goods and products in exchange of using plastic and paper bags. Recycle. Let's uplift the recycling in our households. Through this, we will be able to reduce the solid waste in the community. And lastly, respect. Let's respect not just the humankind, but what sustains it, the environment. Our natural resources is where we get our basic needs, so let's conserve and preserve it. Being in Miss Philippines Earth 2018 opened me to bigger opportunities in helping save our only home from danger we humans are producing. It is my time to initiate, our time to take the action. Planting a tree is free, recycling is free, so let's stop talking and start acting. Let us be the role model for the next generation to follow. I am an echo warrior, so be you. This is Abigail Rosales Ampong, your Miss Philippines Earth, Bien Unido Bohol, and I am a woman of the earth.